What's up guys, it's Enrique here, PRG Real Estate Brokered by EXP with another video for you. And a question I've been getting asked a lot, we get asked this all the time, you know, for both buyers and sellers is, are we headed for a market crash? So I kind of wanted to talk about that today and, and also reflect back to when the market actually crashed in 2008 and kind of what's happening today and, and some of the differences. So uh, to make a long story short, guys, I do not have the crystal ball. Of course, no one does, but all we can look at is what is actually happening. Now, with you know all the craziness in the real estate market and multiple offers on homes, you know a lot of buyers are concerned like, man, how high are the prices gonna go? When will the market crash? Will prices drop? You know, and it feels like we're heading you know, to this uncertain territory, but we gotta look at actually what is happening and what the numbers show. So I wanted to touch on a couple points you know, just to help figure out, are we headed for a market crash? Um, one thing we got to look at is number one is that the interest rates are at a record low. They're around the 3%, you know, for a 30 year fixed mortgage. Um, it was a little bit lower than that before, but we've never had interest rates this low. So that's sparking a lot of demand. Um, you know, that's pushing a lot of buyers to make the move and to start buying homes. Now, point number two that I want to look at is that the inventory is super low as well. Now, I looked at a stat, and I wanna pull that up real quick, uh, and I can email this to you guys if anybody wants it, but um, in 2008, July 2008, is when you know our market officially crashed back then. And we gotta look at what the inventory was then and how many homes were pending. So in the county of Santa Clara, in July of 2008, we had almost 9,200 homes for sale at that time, which is crazy. That was single family homes, townhouses, and condos just in Santa Clara County. Uh, at the same time, we had about 1,300 homes that were pending. So these are homes that were in contract. So as you can see, there was a huge oversupply of inventory at that time. There was a, there was a lot of homes to choose from. A lot of people were losing their homes and putting them on the market. Now, right now, today, um, for the month of uh, March so far, we have about 1,400 homes on the market. So these are active homes in Santa Clara County, um, single family homes, townhouse and condos. And there's a little over 1,000 homes that are pending. So as you can see, there's only 1,400 homes to choose from and there's 1,000 homes that are pending right now. So the inventory is super tight right now, which is causing all the craziness and all the frenzy. Um, so with that, that being said, is unless a bunch of inventory comes on and people just start dumping their homes, you know, I don't know if anything's going to change for our market anytime soon. Um, now we have COVID, right? COVID, you know, hit us last year and we're still in COVID and we're still, you know, transitioning through that. And, you know, it's, it's looking better than it was before. But even despite COVID, a lot of people are still buying homes because now they have the ability to work from home. So people are making these moves from maybe from the city to other areas where they can get more bang from their buck. Uh, but there's still, you know, a strong sense of demand for buyers, even despite COVID. Uh, my next point, guys, is that before COVID, going into COVID, um, which was March of 2020, the market was super strong back then. So the market was already strong going into COVID, and then we had this pandemic hit us. So things were still looking good back then. Now, the last thing I'm going to leave you with, guys, point number five, is that the real estate and the mortgage industry has adapted very well, even though you know COVID, COVID is here and we're through this pandemic. They've deemed us essential. Uh, as an essential industry from the beginning of COVID. So that means that people are uh, agents and mortgage and loan officers are, are still able to get out there and make business happen. So with all these points, guys, these five different things that we pointed out, I truly don't believe that we're headed for a market crash. All the indicators, all the stats, all the statistics show that we're in a very tight inventory situation. We have Google that just announced that they're gonna spend over a billion dollars in California in real estate and over seven billion across the US. So all of these signs are pointing us that our market is gonna be healthy, it's gonna con continue to thrive even despite COVID and we'll just have to wait and see guys. So I hope that gives you some insight uh, and maybe help, helps you know shed a little bit of that concern that you might have, but things are on the up and up as far as real estate concern. Our team is super busy. If we can help you out with anything, guys, if you have any other questions or concerns regarding the real estate market, feel free to reach out to me, respond to this video, and a member from my team will be in touch. Till next time, guys. Thank you.